Hey everyone, welcome back. So, we are now going to be taking a look at the update for Brightwing that came through today. I have uh, the patch notes to make sure that uh, we can get a better idea as to what they actually did here. You'll notice the icon for Soothing Mist is actually different now. Uh, let's go down the list. So, her Q Arcane Flare... The damage was reduced, um, both outer and inner. The missile speed was increased, so it shoots faster. But there's also new functionality. If a hero is hit by the center, Soothing Mist's passive healing instantly activates. So now there's another incentive here to try and make sure you, t you are able to hit the skill shot correctly. You get an extra little burst of your passive healing. That's pretty nice to add to her healing output. Polymorph, one of the strongest abilities in the game. Its duration was increased from 1.25 seconds to 1.5 seconds, and its cooldown was increased from 10 seconds to 12 seconds. It's still pretty good, though. <laughs> uh, one and a half seconds polymorphed on a 12 second cooldown. That's still not bad, though. Uh, Pixie Dust, the range was decreased from 8 to 7 um her trait though her trait her heal amount was reduced by from 115 to 105 not a big deal here's the big deal though it has a new functionality you can activate it on a 120 second cooldown to remove all stun root slow and silence effects from nearby allied heroes it's an aoe cleanse for a team now it doesn't give you the unstoppable status. Okay, it's not that type of a cleanse. It just removes those effects from any of your allies. But it doesn't give the unstoppable status. But it's still... That's still really good. You know how... You know, Brightwing was one of those characters who still had the, uh, the baseline generic cleanse. You know? She was still one of those supports that still hung onto that generic cleanse that's been around since forever. Now it's just built into her trait, though it's a little different, and it's meant for the rest for her. It can be for her entire team. That's pretty nice. Um, nothing changed with Blink Heal, but Emerald Wind uh, it no longer grants passive healing to Soothing Mist, so it doesn't give extra healing. Uh, the damage was reduced, and the cooldown was reduced to 15 seconds. So. It used to be you could be able to use this and be able to increase the healing from your trait. Hmm. And I always I always used to pick Emerald Wind for extra healing as well as crowd control. Now, I don't know. I don't know. I think I may end up needing to use Blink Heal. I don't know. I think Emerald Wind may now be considered not as good. But let's take a look now at her talent tree. This is where things get kind of interesting. So greater polymorph, the range is increased by 30%, and hero takedowns refresh the cooldown. So if you get a takedown, 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 you can polymorph, polymorph, polymorph. Think about that. That's pretty that's pretty good. Oh, also, uh where do I where can I look at this? Okay, here we go. Uh her trait. Or not her trait, her Z. So of course we know Brightwing's one of those characters who can't use a mount. So she has a teleport that's global. This is She's always been considered a global hero. After two seconds, teleport to an allied hero and heal them for 20% of their maximum health. So now when you global to an ally, you can heal them. That's really good. Especially when it says 20% of their maximum health. So if you teleport to your tank, he gets healed even more. So let's say you have a Stitches or a Cho'Gal. That's a lot of healing when you uh global to them that's pretty nice uh let's see uh so hyper shift increase phase shifts healing by initial 10 percent. so now you get 30 makes it make it 30 percent of their health nearby enemy minions deaths reduce the cooldown of your z by two seconds so now if you have bright wing uh laning and you know clearing up the lanes she can use her global teleport more often that's really good and then her 
a unique bribe. Consume 20 stacks of bribe to defeat a uncaptured mercenary. Gain one stack when a nearby enemy minion dies, and five stacks when hitting an enemy hero with the flare center. So this has changed. This used to function where every time you healed an ally, you would get a stack. Now, you just get them just from killing minions. Hmm. I'm not sure. I, I, I kind of liked how it used to be better. The fact that if you were healing allies, you would get stacks. It just kind of made sense for her character. This one, I'm not so sure. I don't know. Maybe they're trying to, you know, play into Brightwing's strange homicidal tendencies. You know what I'm talking about. That corpse make for good eats. Let's see. Dream shot. Increase uh, Arrow King player's range by 50%. Hitting a hero uh, with the center. Reduces the cooldown to two seconds. <laughs> Unstable anomaly. Increase polymorph slow by 15%. Upon expiration, polymorph deals damage to nearby enemy heroes equal to 2% of their maximum health. Interesting. Magic spit. Increase basic attack range by 1.1. Basic attacks against heroes reduce the cooldown of Soothing Mist by 5 seconds. Her heal goes off every 4 seconds. Brightwing heals nearby allied heroes for 1 every 4 seconds. Unless... Oh, okay. So this is not... I, I read this wrong. Back up. This is not referring to her heal. This is referring to the cleanse. That's what it's referring to. To the to the 120 second cleanse. That's what it's referring to. Okay. back. Let's back up for a second. Okay, there we go. Uh, but I still think that's good. A way to be able to decrease the cooldown of your cleanse. That's really nice. Uh, let's see. Enemy heroes hit by Arcing Flare have their map movement speed slowed by 20% for 3 seconds. Increase the slow to 40% if they are hit by the center portion. Phase shift uh, to an ally grants both Brightwing and her target a shield and reveals a large area. So this used to be two separate talents you could that you could pick. Now it's just combined into one talent. So now you can be able to get the reveal and the shield. Uh, if Soothing Mist removes a disabled effect from an ally, heal them for 200. So now when you cleanse them, you also heal them. So that's another heal you can pick up. I like that. 13. Ooh, a full Pixie Dust tier. Uh, Pixie Dust uh, gives 40% bonus movement speed. Uh, increased Pixie Dust duration by one second. Brightwing heals allies with an active Pixie Dust for 25% more. Reduce the cooldown of Pixie Dust by 3 seconds. Increase the spell power granted by 25. So then it would be 50 spell armor. Yeah, Pixie Dust. Uh, movement speed of 20%. Grant them 25 spell armor for 3 seconds. So now you would give them... Oh, reduce the cooldown and increase the to 50. That makes her even stronger against spellcasters. She used to be really good against spellcasters anyway before. That makes it even better. 50 spell armor and you reduce the cooldown. That has a 10 second cooldown. So now every 7 seconds, you can give 50 spell armor. <laughs> That's really good. That's really good. Uh, hush. Enemy heroes hit by the center are silenced and deal 20% less damage for three seconds. Oh my gosh. I didn't know that. I didn't see that one before. So now she has a silence if you can hit it and they do less damage. Wow. The armor is reduced. Yeah, that's that's been around. That's pretty much the same. Phase out. Activate to place Brightwing in stasis for 0.75 seconds. I heard about this one. 20 seconds. So it's kind of like... um. I guess you could kind of think of it like Maiev's trait where she vaults up to avoid something. That's kind of what this is like. That's very much uh, what this is like. Uh, invisible friends. Uh, blink heal. Let me make sure I see this in the, the uh, patch notes here. Yeah, double wormhole was removed. And, you know, all the other ones were removed. It's a whole new talent here. here. Four whole new talents for Brightwing. At level 20. Blink Heal grants stealth to Brightwing. If Blink Heal is cast on a hero, they are also granted stealth. While stealthed by invisible friends, heroes heal for 20 health per second and are unrevealable for the first half second. Remaining stationary uh, while stealth grants invisible. Huh. Uh, permanently reduce Emerald Wind's cooldown to 5 seconds and increase its mana cost to 2 
hundred. Wow. So this would get a five second cooldown, but instead of 90 mana, it'd be 200 mana. So every five seconds you could do this. It's going to cost you a lot of mana, but I mean, in certain situations, I can absolutely see this being picked. A five second cooldown for an Emerald Wind? That's real. That, against certain comps and heroes, that could be really good. Speed Dragon, permanently gain 20% movement speed. Oh, I like that. Uh, Fairy Protector, 45 second cooldown. Activate to apply Pixie Dust to all nearby heroes. Now, it doesn't say if it... Uh, I would like more clarification. Like, this, like, whatever you pick here, like, if you pick... If you go with the Pixie Dust... Uh, actually, this is the first tier where you get Pixie Dust talents. So, whatever you pick here, like, if I pick this or this, does it apply to this? Hmm. Let's get into a game and uh, check out this new Brightwing. Alright, so as before, let me read the comments for you. Late last year, we decided that we wanted to do to add a fun minigame to Brightwing, utilizing her arcane flair as the focal point. As it often happens, while making the initial changes, we started diving in deeper and deeper. Nearly a year later, we are excited to showcase a fully updated talent tree alongside some fundamental gameplay changes to our resident fairy dragon. With a baseline AoE cleanse type effect and adding healing potential to her arcane flare, Brightwing should bring some new major playmaking abilities to her team. Okay. So we are in Alterac Pass. Oh, and we're on the side of the Horde. Oh, thank goodness. I've been getting this map a lot, but I've all, but I've been getting it on the Alliance side. Five. At times, it just kind of irritates me. I'm like, why am I on this side? For the Horde. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hmm. We have a Johanna. I like the Hyper Shift. I really do. Especially in a situation like this. I was like, oh no, I used my, uh... Pixie Dust on myself. I can't tell if I hit the center or not. So I'm in a little bit of trouble, but it's okay. Look at that. We're already on the verge of being able to use my uh, my teleport again. Now, no one else is here, so... I really shouldn't leave this lane to uh, lose the soak. But, when you're the healer, at times you have to pay attention to what's going on. So you can be able to try and teleport to an ally when they are in dire need. Of you and your healing. So, Ming, eh. Nah. Alright. Constantly checking the mini map. Go to Johanna to give her that heal. There we go. Let's see here. I would like to go with uh, the magic spit to increase the, it, my basic attack range, but also to reduce the cooldown of that cleanse. Now, it hasn't come into play yet, but. I mean, we, you know, they do have a Jaina, as well as a Diablo. So. 
It's gonna come into play. At least on paper it would. So then what I would do, I would hearth back to base, refill my mana, and then just teleport back. Boom, there we go. Jaina solo. Oh, I can't catch her. Ah. Oh. oh well. Until you die. You see what I mean about Brightwing and her homicidal tendencies? She's always so happy about murder. be able to remove the slows from that I got from Jaina. There we go. There it is! There it is! And corpse make for good eats. <laughs> uh, Alright, now let's test out this heal. Hold on, Johanna! Boom! There we go. Look at all that healing I just gave to Johanna. I mean, you are now going to be looking to primarily teleport to your warriors, your tanks, to get uh, the most healing out of that. Alright. Uh, I always used to pick Emerald Wind. You know what? I'm still going to do that because of the amount of crowd control they have here, like Diablo. Boom. There we go. Get away from my Sergeant Hammer. Back away. she gives you in a uh, wow as a druid are just kind of like creepy it's like brightwing's one of the creepiest characters you're ever gonna meet all right so i'm gonna teleport back oh she died of course she and teleport to Kerrigan! There we go! Oh, But she went back in. That's why she died. Uh. Alright. 
Come on. Look at that. Emerald Wind, the whole enemy team there. Ah! Oh, I'm trapped! The zombie wall got me! Ah! Ah, oh, man. Why are they all spread out? Johanna, why are you in the top lane? Go to the objective! Uh, at times, the AI can just Drive me insane. All right, I'm gonna pick this, the pixie power. Seven seconds, 50 spell armor. It, that sounds amazing. All right, so I'm in base. Just kind of waiting for a good opportunity here. All right, let's do this. Let me get over here so I can try to I actually got <laughs> Wow, okay. There we go. Healing to Lima. Alright. Uh, let's see. Alright. Let's just check out this new phase out talent. Ooh. Yep. It's very, very short in its duration. But in certain situations... It's yet another counter to Pyroblast and such. <laughs> this is why I never pick Pyroblast anymore. There, every there are so many counters. It's absurd. Ah! There we go. All right. I was even able to cleanse myself there. How often do you see that? A cleanse for yourself. That usually doesn't happen. I like how they just stand there and take it. We'll take it. Ah, Johanna, what are you doing? their hammer and now we're gonna teleport to Kerrigan boom she got healed man I, en I enjoy that stop saying that right wing it's incredibly creepy Care again? Uh. It's like when other players just run away from their healer and you're like, come to me so I can heal you and they just keep running away and they die. 
Look, if you've played support, you know what I'm talking about. Come to me, Nazebo. Where do you think you're going? Oh, look at that. You put it in the wrong place. <laughs> A lot of good that icebox is going to do you. There we go. Alright. Oh, now here come the rest of them. I need to hearth back and get some more mana. They just went ahead and were like, look, we're just going to end the game. We're not going to bother the objective. We're just going to end the game. <laughs> oh, oh, forever. that's a bug. It showed my healing and then went away. That may be a bug that needs to get patched. So, it may not have shown a lot of healing there, but... I like this new Brightwing. <laughs> I do. Uh, there are some talents in here that I really like. Um, the the ability we went with today, Hyper Shift, to increase healing as well as reduce the cooldown of our uh, global. Magic Spit, to reduce the cooldown of our cleanse. Peekaboo, to grant a shield plus reveal the area, which is very strong against stealth heroes. So if you're going up against a Zeratul, a Valera, a Nova, this is a really good talent to pick. Emerald Wind, uh, just to add some crowd control to, uh, you know, against the Diablo. Pixie Power to counter both the Nazebo and the Jaina because it's 50 spell armor on a 7 second cooldown. That's, in that's I think that's really strong. And Phase Out, just to kind of see what it was like, but I don't think there was a situation. Maybe you could time it, like, use this to perhaps... Well, if he had picked Apocalypse, use that to avoid an Apocalypse. Uh, use that to perhaps... You could perhaps use this to avoid getting hit by the Ring of Frost if you mess it up. Um, in terms of your positioning. Uh, there's a number of different ways you can be able to utilize this. And at level 20, let's see. I probably would have taken um, Speedy Dragon. Because I like the idea of increasing her movement speed since she doesn't have a mount. I know she has a global, but still. Sometimes... It's like she falls behind. You have to use uh, your pixie dust just to get uh, moving a bit more. So I like the new Brightwing. I like these changes. Um, I already liked her before, but I think I like her a bit more now. Um, though I may end up needing to uh, practice with Blink Heal. Um, but I think Emerald Wind still has a pretty strong place in the game these days with all the uh, crowd control effects. Uh, that are in play, like the Diablo stuns and and uh, the Jaina slows, plus the big AOE cleanse now. I just think uh, Brightwing's going to be in a pretty good spot. Whether or not she's, like, top-tier spot, who knows? I mean, I'm not the judge on that, but I like her. I like this new these changes to Brightwing. So, I will see you guys next time.